everyone. I'm a classical trained Japanese master calligrapher, also contemporary artist. I'm a sumi. Masumi means pure suming. I was born, raised in Nara, Japan. Nara is the historical center of Bunanism and birthplace of Japanese calligraphy. It is where the first Japanese brushes and suming were produced, as well as many important tools and materials used in this ancient art. It is also where the most famous and skilled master calligrapher all gathered to train and pass on the tradition of Japanese calligraphy to future generations. In this series, we will learn proper preparation of authentic Japanese inks, basic brush strokes, and explore the beauty of sumi ink art. Today, I will teach you how to get great sumi ink from your ink stick. Let's get started! This is an ink stone. It's a stone mortar to grind the ink stick. This is a Japanese ink stick from Nara, Japan. Five star is the best. Three point usually one. First, we will one drop of water onto the top part of the inkstone. This area of the stone is called the land or hill. The lower part of the stone is called the sea or the ocean. We will begin to grind the ink stick using gentle pressure and the circular motion on the hill. After about 30 or 40 times, you will start to see a sticky black ink being to form. When this happened, we will push it down into the sea. And we will put another drop of water onto the ink tone on the hill. We will continue to grind the ink stick using this same gentle pressure and the circular motion. Again, you can see sticky black ink forming.
We repeat the same action about, I think, 50 more times this amount of ink stuff. So after that, we'll pour water into the sea and mix gently. Our goal is to diffuse the ink cells at a constant density. This is how you will get perfectly beautiful smink. And we will keep dry smink stick, smink dislike water content. So then keep dry and the box. Thank you for watching this video. Next episode how to hold brush and moving with run so see you next time bye